EA Sports is proud to present PGA Tour coverage. Today, it's the final round of the Career Builder Challenge. And let's go down to the first. Well, partner, you've been there. Final round, first tee, and you're leading. What's the mindset? Well, Rich, you've got to try and keep away from what a lot of people do, which is one eye looking forward and one eye looking at the rear vision mirror. Right now, it's about getting off to a good, solid start. Put some space between you and the pack. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Now the approach shot here at the par four first. That's how you play the game, right there. Stick it in close and then knock in the birdie. Different day, different hole. Made bogey yesterday. He'll do better this time, it looks like. And a great start. Frank, this is a nice looking hole. Not long, only 371 yards, but challenging in its own way. It is challenging. Uh, the best approach here really is a conservative tee shot to set up an aggressive second. Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. All right, Frank, what's the player looking at here on the second hole with the approach shot? Well, Rich, notice the, the bunker that cuts into the green on the left side. It turns it into a crescent-shaped green. So really, there's three distinct sections, the one in the back, the one in the middle, and the front. Just be very wary of where the flag is here. Good-looking shot right here. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Now this for Birdie. Came away with a bogey on the previous round. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Settles in over the putt. Drops for a par. Now to the third hole, a par four, 471 yards, Frank break this hole down for us. Well, the trouble appears down that left side with the series of bunkers, uh, but you've got to take into account the trees that are well positioned down the right side. Plus, as you can see, this fairway is not exactly flat. Frank, what's the best way to get at this hole location here at number three? If there's a desired shot pattern, it's a little draw off the tee and a little draw in. And the reason why, if you look at the shape of that green, it's on a 45 degree angle to the left. So it really does suit a shot coming in from the right. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. 10-foot putt left. A 
good putt. For those of you just tuning in, we're checking in now on our featured golfer here at the fourth. Frank, the Maserati's tuned up early, running 120 on the uh, first few holes here. Yeah, you've got all 12 cylinders going. Just a player in full flight. It's amazing how that club's tearing through the, I don't know, 100, 120 miles an hour. Ball just sailing down the fairway. Managing to hold those greens. And, of course, the greens that are putting so beautifully. So we have a chance to just sort of light it up there today. Remember, out of the rough. Expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. That shot right there from that lie in the rough to knock it that close, that's good. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Frank, this looks like a fun hole. The first par five of the day, 535-yard fifth. Yeah, as long as you've got something that doesn't go left off the tee shot and doesn't go right off the second shot, you'll be fine. Ooh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. And now the second shot here at this par five. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Putt for Eagle coming up. Getting set now over the putt. See, he thought he had that. It looked in the whole way until the end. That was a good run at it, Rich. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. And that's a birdie. Frank, I love a par three where you have to hit one solid golf shot, anything less, and you might pay a severe price. 255-yard par three sixth. What a hole. No, you love watching somebody else play a par three like <laughs> that. All right. <laughs> Not looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. This hole's been good to him. Birdie yesterday, and trying for another one today. So a long putt there and just didn't read it quite right. So a tester from four feet. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. 
Frank, if you want to play this game at the highest level, and no doubt our players do, you have to sort of be tactical. Will you break down shots or break down a hole? How would you break down this hole in a very smart way? Yeah, I know what you're getting at there. A lot of people would think 350 yards, you could bash a driver down there and you'd finish up in trouble. Well, the way to be aggressive on a strategic hole is to just put the first one in play in a position where you can attack with the second. And there's no shame in that. You can still walk off here more days than often than not with a three. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. That is a really good shot landing close to the flagstick. Bogey here yesterday. Now this for birdie. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bald. Very bald. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. That's the cruelest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. Something about this hole, it has not been kind. In this situation, Rich, a bogey's not all that bad. Still has the lead. Now we're at the eighth hole here at PGA West in La Quinta, California. 559 yard par five. Frank, what are the options here? A good tee shot. You can certainly reach this par five and two. There's a crosswalk that comes across um, in that vicinity of 330 yards. That's sort of the, the green light area if you can get it down there. Anything short of that, it becomes uh, very much a three shotter. But if you can get it close to that crosswalk that goes there, then certainly this becomes opportunity knocks. Missed that one, and it is going towards the rough. Frank, better than we thought it was going to be. Yeah, that looked like it was headed for that thick stuff the whole way, but uh, a little fortunate. But then I guess you're allowed that in this game. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. That's a solid shot here into the eighth hole and a good chance now for another birdie. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. A lip out's fine as long as it doesn't happen to you. Just a little tap in here. Did the job right there. Frank, the ninth hole, a par four measuring 452 yards. This is no picnic. This is the, the toughest tee shot on the front side. Uh, the easy way to bail out down the left side, it might appear that way off the tee, but then it becomes a zigzag hole where it's very easy to clock up something like a six. Uh, the bunker down that right side, just 300 yards to get past that, but, but it's almost like he gives you an option there. If you do want to challenge that right side, the bunker just might save you from going in the water. But uh, there's no question, the best driver's down the right, but it's the most dangerous one. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with par. And Frank, that steady play continues. Rock solid. Excellent approach shot. And getting ready for the putt. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, that hurts. Well, you can see the golfer is just boiling right now after that miss and a drop shot here at the ninth. Bad news is, Frank, that's a bogey, but the good news still has the lead. Can't afford another, though. Just a superb performance on the front side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Second shot coming out of the rough here. That's why on this golf course, Frank, there is a premium on hitting fairways. Uh, you're exactly right. Might be also protecting against a fly, but that did anything other than fly. All right, now another shot from the rough. Yeah, this time better be better than the one we just saw. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. That was well done, and now a very short putt to get out of here with a bogey. Well, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure, five minutes ago. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. Day. Time to regroup. That's a double bogey. Well, we've arrived at our third par five of the day here at PGA West. It is the 11th. It is nicknamed appropriately Eternity. 617 yards. Little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Second shot coming up here at the par five. <laughs> Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Now his third, staring right at the green. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Early part of this back nine, and a good approach shot. And now we'll have this for birdie. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. Didn't go in, Frank, but not a bad effort. Just a tap in to finish the hole. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Now the par 4 12th, only 363 yards, but Frank, it is intricate. There's a lot involved, isn't there, in playing a hole like this? Yeah, I think this is where you have to work out, you know, which clubs do you hit the best? Are you better with a 9-on? Are you better with the wedge? Because that's the distance you want to hit it to. That's, that's how you can be aggressive, even when you're laying up. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. So yet another short iron shot into a par 4 here at the 12th.
That is another laser right at the flag stick. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. How did that not go in? Came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Workman like hole, he walks away with a par. Tricky par three here, the 13th, 214 yards. Well, that one didn't work out. It didn't look bad in the air. It hit the green, but didn't sit. Yeah, it was never going to stop. So in the first cut here, it could be worse. Oh, yeah. Safely on the dance floor. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now another short par four. It's only 389 yards. But Frank, where could a player go off course, so to speak, at this 14th? Well, this is a hole where you have to play your own game. Um, if you're a longer hitter, I think you can challenge that bunker and knock it over there. And if you're short of, short of play, you should be only looking at that left side. Um, you're always going to feel like you've left something out here on a hole like this. You always think you could have done the old, other option. But, but this is where you've got to stick to what you think is your game plan. This is a good-looking shot. Rich, I thought he could get this close. That just is amazing. Just a mind-blower right there. Absolutely incredible. He made the shot. Solid par four here. The 15th is 468 yards. Well, Frank, we are turning home. It says so on the scorecard here at 15. It is, and once again, another example of great bunkering by Pete Dye. Um, bunkers on a lot of golf courses are just simply left and right. But what Pete Dye does, he lets them cut in, especially that one down the left side of the fairway it cuts in. So it has to be avoided, and uh, it's going to be about 280 yards to take it completely out of play. Uh, that's probably the best line, is to get it just past that last bunker on the left side. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Birdie try up next. Trying to make yet another birdie. can't make it, Frank, if you don't hit it. Hubert Green once said, 99% of putts left short don't go in. I don't know what happened to the other 1%, but just a couple of feet. Good roll, solid, that's a par. 
Now the par 5, 16th, dog leg, and it's at 600 yards, so a little bit of an advantage to the big bomber, Frank. Yeah, they can almost uh, take a big chunk out of this hole by going down the left side. If you can take that bunker out of play, and that's a big hit to get past that, then all of a sudden, you know, shortest point between uh, two places is a straight line. You've really reduced this hole into something closer to 570 yards. Now the second shot to the par 5. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. And getting ready for the putt. It's a tricky one, but it's in. Well, let's see, Frank. The par 3 17th, just 168 yards. You can't miss it right, can't miss it left, can't miss it short, you can't miss it long. Good luck. Fraction off the center and headed to the right. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. So a tester from four feet. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. One great hole after another here at PGA West, the finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers uh, we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left side. And this is just a reward for uh, a great swing, a great strike, a great shot. Frank, this approach shot seems pretty straightforward. Just don't hit it left. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough second shot. It's that visual. Once again, you've got that green that's angled to the left. But once again, like a few holes out here, you do not have to hit directly at this flag. You are allowed to move that flag mentally 15, even 20 feet to the right. There's nothing wrong with that. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good approach here to the 18th and a good chance for birdie. So let's come down to this, Frank. One putt away. A chance to do what everybody has been trying to do. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there.
What a great tournament finish. This one is in the books, and look who finished on top of the leaderboard. Rich, this has to go down as a classic. Our champion was simply on fire. And I'm looking forward now to see how next week pans out.